Hey guys, I'm going to show you how I passed C-175 Data Management and Foundations at WGU. So you can see here that on 930 I did fail my pre-A, which you know was only five days after the starting date. And then I did pass my PA on the 15th of October and the 19th of October for my objective. I want to show you what resources I used and didn't use to pass the Data Management Foundation C-175. Um, a little background, I came into this course not knowing anything about SQL, our database, our business intelligence, uh, intelligence, which is the core concept of this class. So just to jump right in, I want to show you the resources I did not use. Um, here's my U certified material for data management foundations and you can see I only got up to 2.5 and after that I did not finish anything else. The reason being is I learned early on that the U certified material did not cover anything that's in the quizzes at all. Um, I took this quiz about three times to finally get to an 85 after rereading, rereading, and watching a couple of videos. Um, once I got to 2.5, it started falling off course. I'm like, you know what? I want to try some different um, suggestions. So I tried in their course material under Pacing Guide, their optional video series. And here's some of the links that they provide. Um, I didn't, I didn't watch most of these. I watched a couple, then went back and took the quizzes. And they helped a little bit, but not to the point where I felt comp confident, confident, sorry, and taking the quizzes. So after that, I looked on Reddit, you know, to see what I can find. And I found this guy. Um, his name is Daniel Soper. And he has a great video series, and this is the playlist I actually used solely for my OA and my PA. I did not use anything else to um, help me pass besides this video course. I'm just going to show you some of the stuff he talks about. You know, he talks about DPA applications, a database management software, which is a DPMS, you know, MySQL. Oracle. He also goes into the types of databases, how data is stored, um, definition for crude, you know, how is the data stored, what is a file, what is a table, etc. Um, lesson two of eight. This is a big one. You want to make sure you study this one over and over again. He goes into topology of DB keys, composite candidate, primary surrogate, relationships between tables, how they work, you know, foreign keys, which is a key that should be up here. I'm not sure why relationship is between them, but um, the former, the foreign key and primary key, for example, they go together. So that may be the reason he has this between them. Um, first norm, second norm, third norm, they do ask, ask this question a lot in the OA. Uh, SQL, I believe this is chapter 5 on the user, uh, chapter 6 of the user certified. He goes in, you know, create alter drop statements, all other uh, commands that you'd need to know. Four of eight, you know, entity, uh, types of keys, relationships, uh, binary. Um, I would um, recommend watching this video a couple times as well. They do ask um, binary, unary relationships a lot in there. Um, I had at least five, qu five or ten questions on that. What is a urinary relationship? They would show me a picture. Um, one too many, um, one to one. They don't ask about tyranny relationship at all. 
so you don't have to worry about that one. Uh, maximum and minimum cardinality. Um, they have about six questions on the OA about this. Uh, let's see. Database design. Um, how, basically, how to um, label your t uh, tables, columns. You know how to denormalization. They they probably had two questions on those. Um, Nm one to many, um, many to many, one to one. And then they all, he also has a section for business intelligence, which is chapter seven, which they asked um, about seven questions on this chapter. So I would recommend watching that video as well. But overall, all these videos are great to uh, watch. Um, if I do recommend you just watching a couple videos, it's lesson one. Lesson two, lesson three, lesson five, lesson four, and let's see, lesson seven and lesson eight. Those are the main lessons that I watched and guaranteed me an 80 on my, my OA assessment. So that's it for C175, and once I pass C185, C851, my bad. Um, I want to shoot out a video on that as well. So if you have any questions or concerns, um, definitely leave a comment and I'll be posting the source to Daniel Soper uh, YouTube link in the description below. Thank you.